guys, and welcome to another edition of Showbiz Insider. That's your review of the top entertainment news stories of the month. I'm Zoe, and today the show comes to us from the super club. That's the brand new Pasha Dubai. So if you haven't partied here yet, we've got coverage from the opening night. But before that, we're going to take a look at top trends on the catwalk at the Vogue Fashion Dubai experience. But first, it's up to the capital for Abu Dhabi Arts. <laughs> The recent edition of Abu Dhabi Art offered a diverse experience combining an art fair with a public program of talks, exhibitions, performances and design, reflecting the arts and cultural development of Abu Dhabi within a wider global context. Why do you think that like, maybe Abu Dhabi is now meant to be the, the next global art hotspot? How is the event enhancing this? happening for four days so it's really like a celebration of art and culture all at, at the same time and we have such an amazing uh, number of galleries participating we have around 50 galleries participating in Abu Dhabi art and they're coming from all over the world so they're coming from uh, the US, the Europe, the Middle East and also East Asia so we covered all that from that aspect which is really exciting but we have also such an amazing program that accompanies the uh, fair aspect of the of Abu Dhabi art. 2014 also marks a critical moment in the UAE art scene ahead of the Louvre Abu Dhabi opening next year and the first preview of the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi's collection. The exhibition Seeing Through Light examines light as the primary aesthetic principle in art. And this year we're so proud to have Seeing Through Light and it's such an amazing exhibition uh, to, to experience. That's the, what I love about it. It's all about the experience. And it's the, the inspiration is from, the theme is the light. And uh, they're gonna, in this exhibition, they're showing uh, pieces by 18 artists uh, and um, uh, that they acquired. So those are the collection actually gonna be uh, within the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi in the future. The exhibition unfolds through five sections that examines light in various interactions, activated, celestial, perceptual, reflected and transcendent. From immersive environments that visitors can move through to painting, sculpture and video, they explore light in all its sensory and perceptual phenomena. The Modern and Contemporary Galleries Hall represents the world's most innovative and established artists, enabling direct exposure to their work from London to Paris to New York. We're going to do his first solo show in New York in 20 years. It'll open in January. So if you can picture this canvas on the ground, uh, he creates a solution with soap and pigment and diamond dust and, you know, waves a wand, creates a large bubble and it settles onto the canvas and then it's captured there in perpetuity. So that's what you're seeing. So this is a part of a new series called High Speed Drawings by the artist James Nairs, um, who's, you know, done groundbreaking work in the medium of painting and film. Uh, but if you can picture sort of a large cylindrical drum, this piece of paper is wrapped around it end to end. The drum moves very rapidly, and as it does, James has created this sort of hybrid of a pan and a brush that disseminates ink at a very uh, deliberate rate. This is a, a new sculpture by St. Clair Semine called Simpan, um, and there's a bit of a, a trompe l'oeil if you sort of circle around the sculpture. Uh, because of the formal elements, it never looks like the work is on the center of the pedestal. Redefining the decorative arts for the contemporary age, Studio Job create highly expressive one-off works using a variety of techniques and materials. Automobile was created with a Land Rover Defender, aluminium, bronze, brass, European oak, Shawovsky crystals, hand-blown glass and paintings. It's designed by Studio Job. It's a couple of Dutch designers and they are very creative. They had the idea to design a Land Rover to pay a tribute to Land Rover. It was the anniversary, the 65 years old of Land Rover. And so they decided to custom the car with a lot of references. You have references to other collections. Representing locally based galleries, IAM celebrates regional artists for the international audience. But with this amount of established and new talent, what's the actual process behind selecting works to display at the art fair? Well, I think first of all, they have to be very representative of um, um, the gallery's program and the artists we value and the artists that really um, mean something in the art world that have achieved great things, whether they're just emerging or established artists. Moving literally out into the city, the Art Beyond Showcase aims to introduce art to public spaces. Large-scale sculpture and installations stretch the boundaries of the art fair to include destinations throughout the city for the next six months, 
including the famed moustache Mona Lisa. And as Art Beyond launches art into the city, book launches took us back inside to meet Palestinian Kuwaiti photographer Tarek Al Ghassain to reveal his latest work in his book Transfigurations. I guess the whole book essentially is an exploration of the term identity and I started it about 10 years ago and there's several series of uh, work in the book and each one deals with a certain aspect of identity. So I think of the whole project in total and did the whole concept. I mean, that's a, I mean, that's a huge area. What did you learn? What does, what, do you, what does it really say about your identity? I'm still learning. I'm Palestinian Kuwaiti. I think that's what started the whole search, I guess, for me. And yeah, as I said, like each series, it's A, B, C, D, then E. And each one deals with a certain aspect of it. One had to do with boundaries, one had to do with perception. One had to do with self-perception, so within each series I explore one aspect of the, of the larger. And from books to talks, daily forums included insights from art world experts, such as Jean Nouveau and artist Martin Creed and Ernesto Neto. The forums presented an inspiring series of talks about cultural development, the Young Artist Fellowship and of course the importance of art critiques. Further celebrating emerging Emirati talent, the Wings Project and the Abu Dhabi Art Community highlights the initiatives of the UAE's non-commercial cultural entities, with the British Council-supported Future Nomads Project fusing heritage with the 21st century. So Nora, tell us about the project Future Nomads and your involvement with the British Council. Okay, so the TCA worked with the British Council and they employed us as commissioned designers to do these pieces by uh, referencing to our culture, but how to interpret it in a modern way. This is why it's called Future Nomads. So like in my project I chose the art of the sedu weaving which is the table and the stool because it's been registered actually as an instinct, uh, as an art that's being instinct in the UNESCO in 2011. So I, I thought of how to bring that art back in modern Emirati houses, how to bring it back and make people interested in our age because you will never find anyone in our age that's interested in sedu weaving. Emirati painter Abdul Qadir al Rais is one of the original masters in watercolour in the Arab world and he takes his inspiration from his country and the natural beauty of the Emirates. During this uh, exhibition I uh, share, sharing with five paintings. One of them which is, uh, you can see it, it's about Al-Watan or uh, Al-Watani that's meaning my home or my country. And uh, you can uh, also make, uh, I paint it as an abstract, but have some look like Emirate maps and uh, also palm trees, which is belong to all Emirati, also before petrol and after petrol. Moving on to performing arts and a showcase program associating hours and colours. This was explored through video installations and sound art. Blue, a true colour in art, is an art history film taking us from ancient Egypt to present day. It was directed by Fabrice Bestow and based on the book Blue, the History of Colour. Hours and Colours, it's such an amazing uh, project. Uh, we've been working closely with the creator Fabrice Bestow who is uh, going to do a really interesting change of uh, colour. So each hour, uh, starting from uh, 6 till 9, uh, the uh, the even the, the whole Manar Sadiat will change the colours. And Dirabal Tawai returns this year for the second edition, focusing on performing arts inspired by philosophical and dramatical themes. Joe Nami's automobile piece is inspired by car stereo subcultures found in urban settings. Eight local cars with custom designed stereo systems, its sound art sync to each other to present male youth culture. It could also be seen as the artistic version of Pimp My Ride. So from art in Abu Dhabi to fashion in Dubai, could Dubai be the next global fashion destination? That's coming up.